class of 2020. In a normal situation, this is when I would have to wait for about 15 seconds for y'all to calm down screaming and yelling and everything, but today we're doing this virtually, and you all should be used to virtual by now. We have become masters of it, I would say. I wanted to meet with you all, and of course that is just impossible under the restrictions that we're under right now. So the second best thing was for me to gather you somehow. Some, my goal was to do it in some, some uh, familiar place. And I first had you all set up in the auditorium. You were in the auditorium. You were on the back of a seat. But today is demo day at Wiley High School. So the construction people came in, and we had to move, and we had to get all this done. Now, Ms. Hunt did a fantastic job of setting you guys up in the auditorium. And today, it was left to others to do so, Ms. David and Ms. Babcock and uh, this, I've done this, set you up in here in the gym, and uh, that's where we are. I saw this done on television, and uh, being a solid pirate that I am, I stole the idea, and uh, we had you seated in alphabetical order, but when we had to move you from the auditorium, as y'all always do, you got out of order, so that's what we had to do. I am burdened with your plight as a senior this year. You're missing so much. You're missing things you've seen the past four years that other graduating classes get to do. Things like elementary visits, panoramic pictures, senior walk, prom, and so much more, including a graduation that will be quite a bit different than those that you've seen or we've done in the past. You've been resilient, and I have been so impressed with you and how you have responded. Today, I'm going to recall for just a second, if you'll bear with me, the first time I met you as a class four years ago, and toward the class of 2020 was sitting out there with that deer in headlights look as I see every freshman class have, and it, it, I just had these thoughts. That this is 2020, that's a really neat, that's a really neat year. I mean, uh, and I even made comments to you about how four years from now you're gonna be having your senior year and you're gonna be the, the uh, probably gonna be doing things with vision and 2020 things like that. And uh, my goal in my head was, is uh, I wanted to be there to see you in. You see, I'm getting old, and I know that this thing is going to end someday, and four years ago, I was still old, and uh, I didn't know, because it is an obvious thing that this thing will come to an end someday, but I am so glad and so proud that I'm able to be here today and help you finish out your, your, uh, your senior year. You've been amazing to work with. You're a quality bunch of pirates, and I'm so proud to get to be your principal. You have accomplished and you have persevered through some hard times that seem to have multiplied in the past few months. You have lost a beloved member of your, cl your class with the passing of Azan, and we will honor him at graduation. Normally, we know how we're going to do that, but with this one, we're waiting to see how graduation unfolds, but believe me, he will have a key spot in your graduation ceremony. Then this pandemic came and basically so stole your senior ending. Today, I am here to tell you that I just love you, and that I know you will finish this year strong with your best effort. I wanted to touch base with you today with some graduation expectations. At this time, we still do not know exactly when or where this will happen, but we are planning something to happen, and it will be quality. There are three, there are three times during the ceremony that I will ask you to rise or be seated. We normally practice this, but I don't think these pictures will respond to my commands this morning. And, uh, but I have looked out here at some of the pictures though, and some of them are paying more attention to me right now than some of y'all do even when we're having a public meeting. You will hear these words, class, please rise. And you will do so in unison. And then you will hear at times the words, class, be seated. And you will do that immediately and in unison. I don't want to give too many instructions on the actual ceremony at this point because we don't know exactly what it's going to look like, but it will be a look, listen, and respond situation for you, and you will do great. You were emailed today some directions and things that were in, the, in there about graduation. I won't read that to you. The end is very important. There will be a bag under your chair. It will have a streamer in it. You will not let it fly until you hear the words, class of 2020, you are dismissed. I will have a few words that will be unscripted to you as a class from my heart before I utter those words. We're going to go, uh, you, you can read the form that I sent to you today 
and there's a, a few things I just want you to know that I'm going to highlight from that's already in the form, but I want to highlight them today. There will be nothing on the caps. We are going to go in to the building as pirates, and we're going to come out as pirates. This is a we thing. It's not a where I've been, where I'm going. It's about Wiley Pirates. Everything on your cap and gown has to have something that is WHS approved. You will wear black shoes. Boys will wear a white shirt with a tie, not a flamboyant tie, but it can be striped or things of that nature, but it just needs to be a tie and uh, with a white shirt. Girls and boys alike, anything that sticks out of, the cap, out of the cap and gown must be dark in color and there are no jeans. You will be given a diploma cover as you cross the stage. Your diplomas will be given to you after the ceremony. This is new for us, but because of the pandemic, we're going to ask you, we're going to have a spot set up for you to go get your diploma whenever this is over. And we will have that information to you whenever we have it. If you'll give me just a moment to reflect and a minute just to share some things that are on my heart this morning, I would like to do so at this time. I want to tell you that I believe that you are ready. You're, you are ready to go out into the real world. You are ready to go and pursue your dreams. I think you're prepared for whatever life has to give you. You've, had, you've been through a lot, and you've already demonstrated that. You have a tremendous work ethic. You are determined. One of the most impressive things about you is that I see that you care about others. I am so confident in what you will accomplish because I see your integrity and I see your character. Give your best. Remember your school. Remember Amo. And please, please don't forget your old principal. It has been a joy to follow you around, your activities and events. It's been joyous to watch you, to watch you excel. I'm just proud of you. Thank you for listening. This is the best audience you've ever been since I talked to you. Class, please rise. Amo.com.